And welcome back to the Morning Blend. The overall box office numbers are down from last year, but there's one movie company that still draws them into the theaters. That's right. Film critic Ryan Jay is here to chat about how Disney is still finding success, but are we getting burnt out? on all the franchise movies. Ryan, what do you think? Yes. Yeah? Right? I mean, the answer is? Well, <laughs> yes. I think it's a difficult decision to make. I mean, there's just so many. Some people don't go to the theater as often as I do. Yeah. I'm there every week, several times a week. But some people go once every three months. Yeah. And they're just going to see the Marvel movies. And that's great. I mean, it's their choice. I don't know why it bothers me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? But it just is sort of like, you know, there's, there's so many other kinds of movies and options other than. And I was a little burned out by Marvel. You are yeah. this year in particular yeah. or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it, it's same with upcoming things. Look at projects them all flashing that by. Well, that's just the thing. I mean, no, if, if you think about it no. though, you know, we had Captain Marvel in March, <laughs> Avengers Endgame in May, Dark yeah. Phoenix in June, Spider-Man, you know, just this week, yeah. July. So it's kind of like, Oh my gosh, can we get a yeah. break? It's like was that we one used all to, this year? Yeah, in the last three months, but, four months. But we so used often to get you say see it. I do, and they're great movies. That's the yeah. thing. They're all fantastic movies. So that's great. Except for Dark Phoenix wasn't a see it, that was a stream it. But by and large, I mean they're they're turning out amazing film, but it's still just like, you know, we used to get them once or maybe twice a year, and now it's like four and four months. Too much. These are like yeah. are, is this the equivalent of like a big box store? Like these are just big money. That, well, of course, that's what it is. Pop you know, I mean, they make great money and they yep. they break records. Yeah. You know, you look at Avengers Endgame, which was the first film to get to like a billion dollars that quickly, and the rest of it in a, in a single weekend. Yeah. So now it's like the challenge is, what's the first movie that's going to get to a billion dollars or two billion dollars in the first weekend? It's just, you know, they they like the sure bets, and those movies are sure bets. Well, it's yeah. a formula that works, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying that they're all the same as in formula, but it's a it's a concept that's obviously drawing right, crowds, right. and it's what it. works. And not flowing down anytime soon. Coming up, we have Doctor Strange 2, Black Panther 2, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, a Black Widow standalone movie. Oh. So, I mean, they're not this year, yeah, but, you know, there's works. no slowing down. I'd like to see Black Panther 2. Yeah, I, of course. I'd be really excited I'm excited for that. Doctor Strange 2, because I love yes, that. that one a good He's one a too. wizard. So, and that, I like that, too, because you're right. Everybody sort of, like, gloms on they might find one. Like, so, moviegoers mm. who don't go all the time, like us, I mean, I would find one and then want to see the second one. Of course, one. yeah. So, okay. Mm. All right. So, Marvel that way. What about Disney? Because we kind of mentioned that in the beginning. What do you feel like overarching for 2019? I mean, Disney now, if you think about, like, we put into perspective just for box office, because Disney does own Marvel and does own Star Wars and oh, all those other, you know, big tent poles. And all of their Disney, which, and this, this year is like the year of Disney. The product they're putting out this year in theaters is unbelievable and they make for at the box office like a third of all box office receipts for a year and in a place where we wow. have you know, we have more than 10 major movie studios yeah. but one disney is accounting for a third of all box office wow it's That's insane crazy. right yeah, yeah and so this year alone we've already had Dumbo in March, Aladdin in May, Toy Story 4 in June, and then this The Lion King coming out in a couple weeks. Okay. So, and then we've got also Maleficent, Mistress of Evil in October, Frozen 2 in November, wow. the next Star Wars in December. You know, that's a lot of product for one year, but it explains how they can take, because those are all huge movies that are going to make great box office. Yeah. And I'm sure they're all see it. Yeah. Because Disney really doesn't hit a miss, you know? Yeah. It, it, is Pixar not as big as a Disney? Pixar, Disney, is that the, the animated. Mm -hmm. Like so, different? Toy Story four is Pixar. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And I, I, yeah, I didn't know if you already said this. Was Aladdin this year? Is mm -hmm. that a Disney movie? Yes. Okay. Because I it, thought that was incredible. It so was I get fantastic. What you're saying. I mean, yeah. the, the 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 color, the the scenery, the, the costuming, music, the music. You know, just like we're getting the live action Lion King, which is going to have Beyonce in it and James Earl Jones reprising the voice of. Uh, Mufasa, he's yes, the only voice. Star like, power. Oh, yeah. Exactly. And it's going to just hearing the music again and then looking for the new songs. Like in the live action Aladdin, we had all the classic songs from the animated version. Plus, Jasmine got a great yeah. new number. Yeah, she yeah, did. So it's, yeah. it's just really cool to see how they're different, but there's no slowing down. Yeah. You know? I don't think, I'm not as burned out with Disney overall, but still, it's like, you know, Hollywood is owned by Disney right now. Right. Yeah. That's it's interesting because when it's you see a movie that's not one of these two, it's just such a different feel. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, such Absolutely. a different pace. So you can see that. You can right. feel it. Yeah. All right. Well, Ryan Thank J. Ryan. Reviews, uh, all his current and past movies, they're all on his website. It's ryanjreviews.com. Oh, it's great seeing you. You too. Thank Thanks. you.